just like that, it's fall. Wow, what a season here at the RV park. I have been very, very busy learning new things. I got my craft room open for the first time this year and really have enjoyed it. Um, got to spend more time with the kids one-on-one -on -one because of that. We are just coming off of six weeks of Halloween. It has been crazy around here between bonfires and site decorating, costume contest, hay wagon rides. The trail around the lake was decorated and you guys got to see my creepy tin if you've been watching my Facebook. I did get all my dolls out there and really creeped some people out. Um, the zombie paintball shoot was a blast. This year my husband was much smarter. He was in full hockey gear underneath that so he only ended up with one bruise maybe two through the whole deal. Now I'm taking a deep breath and it's coming on winter, but the good news is I get to spend at least a month down in the Gulf with my friend Maria, and I'm going to do a bunch of ocean fishing, but I hope that I have plenty of time to work on my dolls and get them caught up. Every time I get a doll out there, somebody wants to take them home with them, so right now I know that the Peace Gadgets page on Facebook is a little bit sparse, and also something new that I've done is try to... Uh, get the website going. I'm still waiting for a code on Google. Hopefully it'll make it to me soon and I can get my actual web page going that you guys can visit so you don't have to go through Facebook anymore. I've had a lot of people say I would love to buy your dolls but I'm not going to get on Facebook. I'm hoping that my next video will be the purifying of the soldier boy. <laughs> you guys stay tuned for that. I will be videoing as I purify and get rid of negative energy from one of the dolls that I plan to put on Facebook. With the coming of fall, it always sends me back to my birds. You know, everybody who knows me knows I love my birds. I've always fed the birds. Today, I actually seen the very first goldfinch. Hopefully, my neighbors down the road will take some of my bird feeders so the birds are still in the area when I get back in January. This also has caused me to think that I'm going to go ahead and make my peanut butter bird feeders and get them in the freezer. Right now it's probably cool enough at night that I could put them out and I may do that after I make a few but I want to make a bunch up and get them in the freezer so that when I come back in January I can just pop them right out there. I'm already seeing woodpeckers. Another thing I'm going to be doing is beautifying my bird feeder baskets. I want to take and put one out when I get down there just for the temporary time at the campground down there and I want it to be very pretty. This is an idea that my good friend Lorraine gave me last year and I loved it so much and I'm going to do it again this year with the baskets. The actual, instead of using bird feeders, I'm going to use baskets and decorate them. We'll have the war with the squirrels. But as you can see, I have my handy dandy squirrel shooter right here. If they get too close, I have been feeding them sesame sticks and graham crackers. And that seems to keep them out of my bird feeders for the most part, at least until I get a chance to see some of my birds. You can train a squirrel. Surely you can train a squirrel. I mean, the creatures are smart. They can get into your bird seed no matter what you do. I have tried everything and except for training them. So I'm going to try and train them with my squirrel shooter. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you, very soon I'm going to be having a like and share contest on my Peace Gadgets Facebook page. So if you haven't seen my Peace Gadgets page yet, you might want to get on Facebook, type in P-E-A-C-E-G-A-D-J-I-T-S into the search bar, go to the page and like it so that you will get notifications whenever I get ready to do this contest. Somebody's going to win one of my dolls. I have pretty much ran out of things to say for this video. Anyway, keep watching to keep updated on my life and what's going on with my RV life and my hobby with my dolls. Thank you all so much for supporting my hobby. It's very, very important to me. It makes me so very happy. And it makes them happy too. Till I see you again. Peace and love for everyone.